everyone, it's Alex. I'm sweating right now. So today I am going to be following a Bob Ross tutorial video. Okay, so just a little visual interruption here. Hi, it's Alex, me. Um, this is editing Alex, this is future Alex. This video should have been posted a week ago, but it didn't because I took a vacation to my grandma's house and the Wi-Fi is really unstable there so I couldn't edit my video and also it's because my desktop is your home and I can't bring it there anyway um, I hope that you guys are having a great new year and I wish you all the best this 2021 and yeah back to the main video so in my last video i painted on my mom's cell phone cover and i am lowering my voice right now because i don't want her to hear it because that is supposed to be a gift for her on christmas day so this time i'm going to be following a bob ross painting tutorial video after i finish this painting i'm going to be covering it and i'm going to be giving it to my dad on christmas so here is the canvas that i will be using today i bought this from daiso last year when we were renewing our passports in kalasho pangasinan that place is here in the philippines if you're wondering where that place is i think that was the first time i went to daiso so the bob ross painting that i'm going to be following is towering peaks season 10 episode 1 so without further ado with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in so here are the materials that i'm going to be using the canvas from Daiso, not sponsored by the way. Emerald brushes. I don't have a palette knife, so we're using a plastic knife. You know those plastic knives you see in fast food chain restaurants. My homemade palette. Uh, these are just some leftover dry paint from my last video. Uh, oh. Textile paint for the base and acrylic paint. Okay, hi. So you're seeing <laughs> you're seeing my iPad at the back right now and hi. Hi, you're seeing the my phone recording right now and <laughs> and yeah. So let's begin. and put the colors on my palette. I'll be back. A few moments later. Painting with me and they'll come across in the same order that I have them on the palette starting with a titanium white and working all the way around. While they're doing that, let's go on up here and talk a second. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. This is a double prime pre-stretched canvas and I've covered it with a nice thin even coat of the liquid white which makes it wet, makes it slick, it allows us to actually blend color right here. Okay, so we don't have liquid white, but I have textile paint. And let's go ahead and open this canvas of ours. And I'm afraid I'll rip it. Continue to the video. You know, we mishmash. Get together and let's do a fantastic painting. I'm gonna start off today with a with a small amount of phthalo blue. Okay. And we'll just take and pull a little bit out and then tap the brush. Phthalo blue. That ensures a nice even distribution of color all the way through sure. the brush. Just tap, tap it. Tap 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 just tap tap tap. Let's tap, tap, tap. go right up here. Now then, let's start right up in here and we'll use little little crisscross. Crisscross. Just make Got little it. X's. Let's put in a happy, happy little, little cloud in the sky. Mm -hmm. okay, a little more of the color. This wait, 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 hold on. Oh. Bob, wait. Hmm. 
Should we add a little white? Didn't say that, right? There's a reason why my mom is mad at me because I don't listen to instructions that well. If you can hear like kids screaming right now, please don't worry. Nothing's going on. They're just having fun. Since we're not using oil paint, and uh, acrylic paint and oil paint has a lot of difference, I'm just going to recreate what Bob did there. You know, what's hard about this is that when you're doing it with acrylic paint, you can't smoothly do it like how you could do it with oil painting. I don't know. I'm. I have never done oil painting before, but that's that's just what I hear from professional artists. Also, one thing I recognize that a con in acrylic painting is that acrylic paint dries really fast. Like blink an eye, it's dry. <laughs> also, I know this is not part of the topic. Sugar, get well soon. Oh. No, 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 guys, I stained, I stained my short. <sighs> my mom's not going to be happy about this, but it's bound to happen anyway. Okay, so I tried my best, and here it is. See, got that easy, that easy, you have a quick little sky. There. Yeah, well I have this on the brush, tell you what, let's add the least little amount of phthalo blue. Or phthalo green, I mean. So we have phthalo blue and phthalo green, just a small amount of the green, it's very strong. Let's go back up here. Maybe we'll have a little water in here. load a lot of paint into the brush. Let's go up here now. And maybe there's a happy little clouds that just sort of float right around in the sky and have fun. Just sort of mix them up. Ooh, this this color oh, reminds free. me of cotton candy. Like look, look at that. Look at that pink. I mean in Bob's painting it's not that pink but but as as yet Bob says it's it's our painting so kind of illusion that you want in your world. It's our world. And these are just little floaters, little happy clouds. And you can put as many or as few as you want. Okay. Now then, we'll take a clean, dry, be sure it's dry, two inch brush, and I'm gonna just gently blend it using tiny little circular strokes tiniest little strokes and just blend this together just blend it just sort of mix it up okay. wait let me just fix ah alizarine crimson we do not have alizarine crimson but i'm gonna use crimson to all the professional painters out there, don't get mad. Please don't get mad watching you like this. I know you might be triggered, but I mean, I get triggered myself if maybe in the future if I watch this video. Crimson, or your mouth will turn purple, which is alright. Wait, we're That's using right. the knife. A beautiful song about purple mountains. Pull it out very flat, and then cut I across. I do not trust myself right with this. There you go. Let's go up here. I do not trust myself with this. I'm not gonna use a knife. I'm sorry. Are we not gonna sketch this out there first? Okay, here we go. I don't know. All right, folks, we're gonna use the power of white, so. Hold on to your, your buckles. What? 
let's put some snow on this mountain. For that, I'll take the titanium white and pull it out very flat and then cut across to get that little roll of paint again. Now, think where your light's coming from. You have to start making some big decisions now. If you're right-handed, normally it's easier for the light to come from the right side. So let's go right here, touch. So I feel like this thing is too thick to do that, that technique. So I'm just gonna use a dry brush and just do what I do, do see what happens. Absolutely no pressure, no pressure. If you're not careful, your hand will just literally float away. Very soft and very gentle. See, then you have to make big decisions. Maybe this peak right here. Oh, look here, look here, there it comes. See? See, you can bring it right in front. You can move mountains. You can do anything on this canvas. On this canvas, you have total power. Absolutely. Okay, so here it is. So here are my mountains. Now then, let's put some shadows in there for that. I'm gonna take some white, we'll put a little a little Prussian blue in it. Just white, Prussian blue. Mix it up to us about that color. Pull it out very flat again, cut across. Once again, we have a small roll of paint. So very important how you load this knife. Okay, let's go back up here. I want to touch and just pull down. Now we're following the angles on the other side of the mountain. Watch here, I want to, I want to push that back. So I'll come right here and then I'll come distinctly through. See how it pushes that peak right back? That's sneaky, huh? It's easy to do. I mean, I tried my best. <laughs> Vision. Let's say a little footy oh, hill is right here. Trees. All I'm doing is just tapping. Isn't that fantastic? Look at all the little little things it makes in there. Looks like just the tops of thousands of little trees far off in the distance. Look at that. Mm. Look at there. Look at there. See? Isn't that a super easy way to make little footy hills? Now with a clean, dry brush, I want to create some mist at the base of this. Little evergreens that live back here in the distance. Here, I'm just going to take and tap downward. There's some little trees. They're not all evergreens, maybe. There's all kind of trees. Just tap downward. Now these are a little closer, so you're beginning to see a little more detail. And don't make them all real even, because then they look like fence posts down there. Give them some character. Okay, so I tried my best, and here it is. When I was a traditional painter. One thing that used to drive me crazy was reflections. Watch here on a wet canvas, though. So all you do is grab it. You now have to do the Just illusion grab, effect. Pull down, straight down. My knife. And you get a touch of the dark sienna and add it to that. Just the least little touch. There. Just to dull it down. And then when you load this knife, take it and cut across like that. Across. So pull it out flat and then cut across. Okay, let's go up here. Now then, come straight into the canvas, push very firmly, and just cut in a happy little borderline. I feel like I'm just chopping off the canvas or something. And keep this basically straight. Just go anywhere you want to go. Let's go up here. Now then, maybe, tell you what, maybe a happy little evergreen lives right there. We touch, then just the corner of the brush. Again, working back and forth. And we got to put some arms on this tree. It's got to give him some little, little arms so he can reach up and gather the sun up. Look at there. Go right up here. Let's put a happy tree that lives right here. Touch and give it a little push. Just bend the bristles. See there? And then form your tree. So, it's that easy. Just form the basic shapes. Here, and we just put the indication of a happy little tree trunk here and there. See there? That easy. Just sort of touch, give it a little sideward pull. Maybe there's some back in here. We don't know how many trees live in there. Take the point of the knife, you can put some old dead sticks and twigs on there. That easy. Okay. 
So I don't have a fan brush, so I just use the same brush from the start. And I remember myself wanting to buy the fan brush from the bookshop I always go to last 2019 before the pandemic. But I kept stopping myself from quote unquote impulsive buying. And now there's the pandemic, I can't buy it, I can't go to the bookshop and buy it, and now I want to regret it. So. A little advice for me, if you wanted to do something, do it. You never know when, when, just do it, okay? I'm a scientist, we call it finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this and I thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I think I'm done. Uh, Bob is adding a pad on his painting and I don't think I have space to add pads on my painting. So I'm already done painting. Here is the painting that I did and I'm really really happy about it and I enjoyed painting with Bob today. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'm really happy about what I did. So see you guys on my next video and I hope that you guys have or had an amazing day. I'm glad to be part of your day. Bye!